The Magic Porridge Pot, based on a fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. Once upon a time, there was a young girl who lived with her mother. They were very poor and never had enough food to eat. One day, the little girl was so hungry, she went out for a walk, hoping to find a few nuts and berries. In the woods, she came across an old lady carrying a cooking pot. The old lady gave the girl the cooking pot, then told her to set it on the ground. This is a magic pot, said the stranger. Cook, little pot, cook. The magic pot instantly began to bubble. The smell of warm porridge filled the air. When the pot was full, the old lady waved her arms. Stop, little pot, stop, she said. The girl gasped as the pot stopped cooking. She nervously tiptoed forwards and dipped her finger into the mixture. It was sweet and delicious. The girl thanked the old lady and ran back to the village. She burst into her kitchen and put the magic porridge pot on the table. Our worries are over, mother, she cried. Cook, little pot, cook. Her mother watched in astonishment as bubbles of sweet, creamy porridge suddenly appeared in the magic porridge pot. When there was enough, the girl simply said, Stop, little pot, stop. From that day onwards, the girl and her mother always had more than enough food to eat. The mouth-watering bowls of porridge made them grow healthy and strong. They only had to say the magic words and their meal would be ready in a trice. Every day the pair said a little prayer of thanks for the mysterious old lady and her generous gift. One day the girl had to run an errand in the next village. Her mother waved goodbye then asked the magic pot to make some porridge for lunch. Cook little pot, cook. She smiled. The girl's mother ate her fill of porridge. The delicious lunch made her sleepy. I'll just sit for a while in my rocking chair, she decided. Within moments, the woman had fallen asleep. While she dozed, the magic pot kept on bubbling. She had forgotten to tell it to stop. Soon, golden porridge filled the cottage and oozed out of the door. With no one to tell it to stop, the pot kept on working its magic. The woman snored peacefully as porridge bubbled higher and higher. Soon the mixture filled the kitchen. The rocking chair was carried out of the cottage in a swell of creamy porridge. The woman slept and slept. Her rocking chair floated out of the cottage, down the lane and into the village streets. The magic cooking pot bubbled up and down, churning out more and more porridge. What is happening? shouted the villagers. The girl was still far away, so there was no one to tell the pot to stop. Women leant out of their balconies, children cried for help, and men waded through the clogged streets. The woman's cat leapt off her lap, but still she didn't wake up. Villagers began to shout and beg for the pot to stop, but nobody knew the right magic words. The streets were soon filled of warm, sticky porridge. It's getting higher, screamed the people. How much more can there be? The woman snored and the magic porridge pot kept on cooking. When the girl got back to her village, she was in for a terrible shock. The whole place was covered in a sea of creamy porridge. It even spilled out of the streets and up the lane towards her. It must be my magic porridge pot she exclaimed. Whatever has happened to it? The girl shouted at the top of her voice, Stop, little pot, stop! The magic porridge pot stopped cooking as quickly as it had begun. The girl's mother woke up with a start, unable to believe her eyes. Now the flood had stopped. The villagers cheered. There was enough delicious porridge to feed everyone for months.